Prepare to be boarded. Let's hit it, Genji! Let's all work together again sometime, okay? It's time to begin our little rabbit hunt. Ha! How about that? They may have a semi, but there's no way they can squeeze it down a narrow road like this. Smart as always, Bond! Now all we have to do is stay on these back roads and we'll beat them for sure! When you're right, you're right! And you are right, Genji! We can finally kick back and take it easy! Oh. We'd like to retrieve our cargo from you, if you don't mind. Our client is waiting, and he's the worrying kind. Bon, it's them! Looks like we're gonna finish this once and for all. <laughs> I see someone's finally gotten in the mood to play with me. Hey, Bon, if it's okay with you, I want to take this guy by myself. Yeah? Yeah. Bugs me that he thinks he won the last round. And besides, it seems like you and Himiko have a lot to talk about. Isn't that right, Himiko? Damn it, Genji, keep your nose out of my business. Even so, I guess I'll let you take on Jackal Boy. But in return, I expect you to let me know if things go bad. Don't worry. I'll never lose to a guy like that. That's true. Is your conversation quite finished? If so, shall we begin the game? <laughs> Choose your partners, everyone. <laughs> Your challenge just now was quite admirable, but in the end, our ability levels are too different. The two of you talked it over, and yet you still wound up being the one to face me. And there I was, wondering to myself, what on earth can your friend be thinking? Try not to bore me to death! <laughs> Well, well, what was that, about 200,000 volts? Not bad. Perhaps you are worthy of being called the Lightning Emperor after all. Unfortunately for you, I'm afraid I had the foresight to put on a pair of highly insulated rubber gloves before I came here. Better luck next time. <laughs> hmm? What's happening? How's that? Not too boring for you there, is it, Jackal? Well, what do you know? I do believe I'm starting to get a bit excited. Kinchi Amano. Enough already! Let's stop this ridiculous game, Himiko! What's the matter? Scared? If I were serious about beating you, your body would be torn open in about five different places right now, Himiko. All I'm doing is making sure you never get upwind of me. And if you can't get upwind, your poison perfume is useless. Do you think that somehow by holding yourself back you're saving me? Do you think by not killing me you can atone for taking my brother's life? Fine. If that's the way you want it. You know what's neat about flame perfume? 
There's more than one way you can use it. Watch this. Dagon on me anymore, can you? And all because you wasted it on saving loser Ginji or whoever he is. I'm not the only fool around here, am I? And here, if you'd saved using the Jagon for a smarter moment, you might have been able to defeat us. I work for a recovery service, don't you remember? Feeding people up just isn't on my resume. How dare you! Ugh. After killing my brother, how dare you make jokes like that to me? Ugh. My big brother truly believed you were one of his own. And you repaid him by taking his life! I can't forgive you! I'll never forgive you! This is the sixth time. My hand is locked on your brainstem. You couldn't move if you tried. Damn you, Bon! What's the matter? Why don't you hurry up and do it? Just like you did my big brother, with that same hand. I believed in Yamato too. <gasps> I believed in my heart he was truly one of my own. Of course I can't kill you. You, who were one of my own. Yamato's sister, how could I? Yamato! B ban Take care of Himiko. Yamato! Yamato! It was fate that killed him. It was fate that killed Yamato. His death was your... It was the last children's... Damn it! What does that mean? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> it's still too soon for you to find out. If you want my life, you can have it. For what it's worth. You can take it if you want, but I can't go just yet. Not until I've kept my promise to Yamato. Now then. What seems to be the problem? Surely you're not finished already, Ginji Amano. Damn it. No matter how much electricity I use to block his little knives, they just keep coming. It's like there's no end to them. How the heck is he concealing so many weapons? Haha. <laughs> I have to say you weren't a complete gore. I mean it. Thanks to you, I actually had a bit of fun on this job. However, I think it's time to move on. No offense, but your friend seems like he might provide a little more amusement. He has the scent of a kindred spirit, you see. No, I suppose only I can see that. He and I have things in common. We're both human beings with a taste for fresh blood. How dare you put Vaughn in the same class as a ruthless monster like you! Let's end this, shall we? Bloody rain. Can you escape death when it comes at you in a downpour? That was nothing, pal! My goodness, those sudden showers can be a real pain. And no shelter in sight. But... but how? Mysterious, isn't it? How could I know so far in advance which direction you would run in when you dodge my attack? Perhaps it's simply what you'd call empirical principles, the uncanny instinct that comes from years of experience. Before this battle began, I could have told you every move you would make. Even now, I know precisely what you're going to do next. That's it. Time to say goodbye, my dear Ginji Amano.
So you finally decided to show up, Bon Meadow. Hey there, Bon! Look at you. You're falling to pieces there, Genji. You look like crap. I've been waiting for you, Meadow. Huh? I've grown weary of your little friend here. I was just about to come looking for you when you were kind enough to find me. Gee, thanks. But I'm afraid I'll have to pass. I don't feel like fighting you. We already decided that Genji was your opponent, remember? Ah. So you're saying you're not inclined to come down and help a friend in need? Hey, Genji! Are you in need down there? Not at all! See? There you go! <laughs> I see. How very sporting of you. Then I hope you're comfortable up there while you watch Genji get gutted. Careful now. You might be the one who gets gutted. That's right! <laughs> Well, well, this is a pleasant surprise. I had no idea you had so much energy left in you. Even so, I can't imagine anything you can do to defeat me now. Oh. <laughs> Electricity you're going to extract all my weapons like a magnet like I was saying before the one who's gonna get gutted is you uh, 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 yeah! ah, You lose dr. Jackal Genji I did it. See, Bon, I didn't lose, did I? Well, I'd give you a 5 out of 10 anyway. But way to use your noggin there. Figuring out that Akabani was hiding his weapons inside his own body. Yeah, when he drew his last set of knives, I saw him twitch a little, so I suddenly thought, what if... <laughs> That's a pretty big achievement for a brain your size. So how did things go on your end? Did you get to finally resolve things with Himiko? Uh, who knows. Surprise. I believe I'm growing rather fond of the get-backers. It's a lie. Every word that came out of Bond's mouth, they're all lies. Jackal, what happened to them? It appears they decided to leave. What are you doing? We've got to go after them right now! You can do as you like. Huh? As for myself, I believe it's time for me to bid you all adieu. I've already received more enjoyment than I ever expected from this assignment. Uh, are you saying that you're quitting? I've been amply compensated for my time, and an unexpectedly difficult fight has caused me to shed precious blood. Naturally, I'll ask you to convey to our client that I won't require my share of the pay. That should calm him a touch. Have you lost your nerve? Is that it, Dr. Jackal? Feel free to interpret it any way you like. So it's down to you and me, huh? What on earth is going on in that oddball's brain? I've known him a long time, but I still don't get him at all. Well, what do we do? Any it's ideas, quite Lady all right. Poison? No need to worry. Steps are being taken. Oh, man, that job was a hard one. Don't you think so? Totally, but it looks like we're finally crossing the finish line. Mm-hmm. Still, I wonder if it was okay to leave Jackal lying there like that. Uh, like he'd ever kick the bucket so easily. I know, but it makes me feel like his revenge will be even scarier. Hey! Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, we're almost to Shinjuku! Yep. 
Ah, uh, you know, maybe it's my imagination, but I swear even the air smells different here. I know what you mean. It's like somehow the smell reminds... <sighs> hey, Bond, what are you doing? Never mind, just get away from the car, fast! Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, uh... Genji, no! Uh, oh, my body... What's happening to me? It's timed perfume. <laughs> timed perfume? She rigged a perfume bottle to a timer that goes off, so the perfume paralyzes her opponent completely. Oh, great. Damn. When did the witch stash it in her car? <sighs> What'll you do now? What, Ban Midao? You can't use the Jagon on me or Mr. Magaruma anymore. <sighs> Jagon, not twice in a day. Did you have a pleasant dream? You used the Jagon on the crows? But I... Uh... You got careless there at the end, Himiko. You should have known you couldn't defeat me with a simple trick like that. <gasps> I got the antidote perfume. <sighs> This is the right one, isn't it? The one that cancels out all of your many poisons. Uh, I'll take it with me as payment for the shirt, all right? Wh what? Now that I finally get a chance to look at you, I can see you've really grown up in these past few years. A little, anyway. Uh, Do a little more of that, okay? Before the next time we see each other. Don't blame me. You're the one who was too slow back there. It was your timing with the Jagon that was slow. Jeez, you're such a brat. I'm not a brat. You are. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, big brother? You both are, if you ask me. Before the next job, why don't you both do me a favor and do a little growing up? What did you say? A big brother? <laughs> next time we see each other, I'll defeat you for sure. Give it a rest, you little brat. Himiko. Yes, Mr. Magaruma? Is this the end of it? No, it's not, but that's not important now. Huh? I don't understand Jackal at all, and I don't get you either. <laughs> that scent in the air, it's just like it used to be, huh? No, oh, it came this far and now it quit on us? We got no luck, do we, Bond? You're not gonna ask? Huh? About me and Himiko, I mean. About why she'd come after me the way she did. A long time ago, I teamed up with her and her big brother. Well, it was only for about six months or so. But as for me, they were the two best friends I ever had in my entire life. But see, I, uh, her big brother and I, we, uh... It's okay, Bond. And you know why it's okay? Because I believe in you. Wasn't it you who told me, you know what the S in Get Backers means? It means you're never gonna have to be on your own. So always remember, you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. There. Ah! You just sleep there, buddy. I'll get the platinum on my own. Hey, hey, Bond! That, that's mean! Remember, the S and Get Backers Shut mean... Up. Money is a whole different oh, issue! That is so not fair! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I got it. I said I got it, okay? I'll see you boys later. Was that them on the telephone? Yep. The assignment's safely completed. They said they just got back to Mr. Otaki's house. Oh, that's wonderful. It looks like this time around they'll finally be able to pay their tab, doesn't it, Chief? I wouldn't be so sure. Why not? The thing about those two, they, they have, have no, no luck, luck with, with money. money. Huh? What does that mean, anyway? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you did an excellent job. 
When I heard this platinum melon had been stolen, I was afraid I'd never have a chance to taste its bountiful bouquet. This truly legendary melon is only available once every five or ten years at most. As promised, the two of you have been cut one-tenth of the melon, which comes to one-twentieth each. Come now. Don't hold yourselves back on my account. Taste the delectable flavor of platinum. What are you doing? That's my platinum melon! You hoodlums! Men, attack! Attack them! What attack! Watch me! Watch me eat it! It's good. In the next volume of... Hey, where's Genji? That is so typical. Probably hanging out with his old gang buddies. We need to help out this adorable little violin prodigy. Should be a piece of cake as long as Genji doesn't run off again. Tell you what, you hang tight and I'll go find it. We'll be back in time for the next volume of Get Backers. I promise. <laughs>